Papaya farming. Papaya, scientifically known as Carica papaya, is a tropical fruit that thrives in the warm and humid climate of South India. It is a popular and economically significant crop due to its sweet flavor, high nutritional value, and versatility in various culinary applications. Papaya trees are known for their fast growth and prolific fruiting, making them well suited for organic farming practices in South India. Varieties of papaya suitable for organic farming in South India Several papaya varieties are well suited for organic farming in South India due to their adaptability to the region's climate and soil conditions. Red Lady, Solo, Red Lady is a popular choice among South Indian organic papaya farmers. It is known for its vibrant red-orange flesh, sweet taste, and high yield potential. This variety is resistant to several diseases and adapts well to the local climate. Cork Honeydew Cork honeydew papaya is favored for its sweet and aromatic fruits. It is well suited for South India's climate and is known for its disease resistance, making it an excellent choice for organic farming. Pusa Delicious Pusa Delicious is a hybrid papaya variety that performs exceptionally well in South India. It produces elongated, sweet fruits and is preferred for its high yield potential and resistance to diseases. Washington Washington papaya is known for its large-sized, sweet, and orange-fleshed fruits. It adapts to the conditions in South India and offers disease resistance, making it a reliable choice for organic cultivation. Suya Suya is a local variety that is well suited for organic papaya farming in South India. It is known for its sweet taste, adaptability to local conditions, and ability to thrive in varying climates. Now, Let's delve into Cuba products and their ingredients, as well as the benefits they offer for organic farming. Cuba Soil Conditioner Ingredients Cuba Soil Conditioner contains a wide range of essential nutrients, including phosphorus, potassium, calcium, magnesium, humic acid, organic carbon, silicon, boron, manganese, iron, copper, amino acids, fulvic acid, sulfur, molybdenum, and nitrogen-fixing bacteria. Benefits, when applied in organic farming, it enriches the soil with vital nutrients, enhances microbial activity, naturally balances soil pH, and regulates moisture content. This leads to improved soil health, nutrient availability, and ultimately, healthier and more productive papaya crops. Cuba Soil Booster Ingredients, Cuba Soil Booster is composed of neem, trichoderma, humic acid, amino acids, and seaweed extracts. Benefits This organic seed treatment product promotes microbial activity in the soil, enhances germination, root growth, and nutrient uptake. It provides natural protection against pests and diseases, ensuring strong and vigorous papaya plants from the start. Cuba Growth Promoter Ingredients Cuba Growth Promoter contains seaweed extract, amino acids, and essential minerals. Benefits, when used in organic papaya farming, this water-soluble plant enhancer supports healthy growth, flowering, and resilience, especially during periods of low sunlight. It enhances both the yield and quality of papaya fruits. Natural Horticulture Oil Ingredients, the oil is a mixture of natural oils with insecticidal, antifungal, and herbicidal properties, including azadiractin, citral, linalool, geranial, alpha-pinene, limonene, beta-osamine, terpenoline, alpha-topiniol, methylheptanone, and menthon. Benefits This organic oil serves as a preventive care solution in organic papaya farming, protecting crops from pests and diseases. It also aids in soil health improvement and reduces the need for additional fertilizers. By incorporating Cuba products into organic papaya farming practices in South India, Farmers can create healthier, more resilient, and higher yielding papaya crops while adhering to sustainable and environmentally friendly agricultural principles. These products provide essential nutrients, pest and disease control, and soil health enhancement for successful organic papaya cultivation. We have provided detailed information on Benefits of using local varieties of plant seeds Methods for seed treatment and sapling treatment in agriculture root development, stem growth, leaf health, 
flowering in papaya plants, addressing malnutrition and enhancing papayan content for flavor, aroma, taste, consistent size and weight, sugar levels and plant growth, insects and pests, diseases, beneficial companion and border plants, climatic tolerance. Note, collaborating with local agronomists is a valuable step for Indian farmers. Their expertise can help you maximize the benefits of these organic solutions while taking into account the unique conditions of your farming area. Utilization in farm. Kuba soil conditioner. During sowing slash planting, apply 100 grams and another 100 grams after 20 days. Thereafter, every 40 days, apply 200 grams. Total quantity required, 1 kilogram and 800 grams per plant, per year. Kuba Soil Booster. At the time of sowing, apply one bag of Kuba Soil Booster per acre. Thereafter, every 100 days, apply one bag per acre. Total quantity required, 20 kilograms, which is 4 packets per acre. Kuba Growth Promoter and Natural Horticulture Oil. Both products are water-soluble and can be used for spraying and drenching. This mixture is used for sanitizing seeds or saplings and can also be used after seeding. Immediately after sowing, spray 250 grams of Kuba Growth Promoter and 1 liter of natural horticulture oil. Repeat the application every 20 days, spraying 250 grams of Kuba Growth Promoter and half a liter of natural horticulture oil totaling six sprays up to day 120. Repeat the application every 20 days, spraying 250 grams of Kuba Growth Promoter and 1 liter of natural horticulture oil, totaling 12 sprays until the year end. Total quantity required, 16 liters of natural horticulture oil and 9 packets of growth promoter per acre, per year. Additionally, if required due to the presence of any insects or diseases, lack of sunlight disrupting photosynthesis, or cold weather caused by rains, repeat the application as needed based on local circumstances. Farmers have the flexibility to alternate between spraying and drenching, tailoring the application to their specific needs and preferences, depending on pruning techniques and the intended time for harvesting. Furthermore, we recommend incorporating cow-based products such as Jivamruth and Gokrapamruth to further enhance soil health. These products, derived from cow dung and cow urine, contain beneficial microorganisms and nutrients that contribute to the overall fertility and vitality of the soil. Applying Jivamruth and Gokrapamruth as organic fertilizers can improve soil structure, nutrient availability, and microbial activity, ultimately benefiting the growth and development. We also recommend utilizing the uncultivated period by seeding your farms with various monocot, dicot, and oil seeds. You can sow 3 kilograms of each type of seed and an additional 5 kilograms of various different seeds. Allow these plants to grow, and then mulch them back into the soil between the 45th and 50th day, before flowering. This practice provides diversity and natural green manure to your farms, enriching the soil and promoting overall soil health. It also deters invasive plants, controls insect populations, and helps avoid disease. By incorporating diverse plant species during the uncultivated period and utilizing cow-based products like Jivamruth and Gokrapamruth, farmers can enhance soil fertility, promote biodiversity, and foster sustainable farming practices. These practices contribute to healthier crops and improved overall farm productivity. Prices Cuba Soil Conditioner, Organic Fertilizer, Powder Form, 50 kg Bag, Priced at Rs. 1000. Granular Form, 50 kg Bag, Priced at Rs. 1200. Cuba Soil Booster, 5 kg bag, price rupees 750. Growth promoter, 500 grams pack, price rupees 550. Natural horticulture oil, 1 liter bottle, price rupees 900. These prices include transportation charges anywhere in Karnataka, that is to your nearest, Vijay Anand Road Lines branch or 
till our dealer stock point. An estimated average for a papaya plantation with 530 plants per acre, you would require 19 bags of Cuba soil conditioner, totaling 954 kilograms, which comes to a cost of 19,000 rupees. Additionally, four packets of soil booster per year are needed for each acre, amounting to 3,000 rupees. To control diseases, 16 liters of natural horticulture oil per acre would be used, totaling 14,400 rupees. Furthermore, nine packets of growth promoter per acre are required, costing 4,950 rupees. In summary, the total expenses for maintaining 530 papaya plants per acre would amount to 41,350 rupees. Therefore, the per plant expenses per year would be 78 rupees. Note, the prices are indicative and may change any time. Hence buyers are requested to confirm prices at the time of purchase. Farmers from other states may kindly contact us. Benefits of using local varieties of plant seeds Using local varieties of plant seeds in agriculture offers a multitude of benefits, as they are uniquely adapted to the specific conditions of their region. Here are several advantages of utilizing local seed varieties. Adaptation to local climate, local seeds have evolved over time to thrive in the specific climate of their region. They are well suited to local temperature, rainfall patterns, and soil types. Planting these varieties can enhance crop resilience in the face of climate variability and extreme weather events, which are becoming more common due to climate change. Natural selection and resilience. Local varieties have undergone natural selection, meaning they carry traits that enable them to withstand local environmental challenges. This can include resistance to drought, tolerance to pests and diseases prevalent in the area, and the ability to thrive with minimal input. This natural resilience can reduce the need for chemical inputs and make farming more sustainable. Coevolution with pests and diseases. Local varieties often have a coevolutionary history with local pests and diseases. As a result, they may possess natural resistance mechanisms that help them fend off these threats. Using local seeds can reduce the need for synthetic pesticides, benefiting both the environment and human health. Genetic diversity. Biodiversity is essential for maintaining the long-term health and productivity of agricultural systems. Local varieties contribute to genetic diversity within crops, which can be crucial for breeding programs. These diverse genes can be tapped into to develop new varieties with improved traits, such as disease resistance or higher yields. Cultural knowledge and tradition. Local varieties are often deeply embedded in the cultural heritage and traditions of a community. Farmers have accumulated knowledge and practices related to these varieties over generations. Preserving and using local seeds can help maintain cultural identity and strengthen the connection between farmers and their land. Conservation of agrobiodiversity, using local seeds contributes to the conservation of agrobiodiversity, the variety of plants and animals used in agriculture. This diversity is critical for food security because it provides a buffer against crop failures and helps maintain the availability of diverse, nutritious foods. Supporting small-scale farmers, many local varieties are maintained by small-scale and traditional farmers. By using these seeds, we can support these communities and promote sustainable farming practices, helping to preserve rural livelihoods. In summary, Local seed varieties offer a range of benefits in terms of environmental sustainability, resilience to climate change, cultural preservation, and economic stability. Embracing and promoting the use of local seeds in agriculture is a key strategy for building more resilient and sustainable food systems. Methods for seed treatment and sapling treatment in agriculture Seed treatment Seed priming, this method involves pre-soaking seeds in water, often with nutrients, to initiate the germination process. It enhances uniform germination, reduces germination time, and increases seedling vigor. Coating, seeds are coated with protective materials, 
such as polymers or beneficial microorganisms, to improve their performance and protect them from pests and diseases. Chemical seed treatment. Chemical treatments involve applying fungicides, insecticides, or growth regulators to seeds. This helps control pests and diseases, improving seedling establishment. Sapling treatment. Root pruning, trimming or pruning the roots of saplings before planting can encourage root branching, improving nutrient and water absorption. Transplant shock reduction. Saplings are treated with substances that reduce transplant shock, such as root growth enhancers or mycorrhizal fungi, to aid in the establishment process. Biostimulant application. Applying biostimulants, such as humic acids or seaweed extracts, to saplings can boost their growth and overall health. Contribution to seed germination and seedling establishment. These treatments contribute to enhanced seed germination and seedling establishment by improving disease resistance. Seed and sapling treatments can protect against soil-borne pathogens, reducing the risk of diseases that can hinder germination and growth. Enhancing nutrient uptake, treatments can improve nutrient absorption, ensuring that seeds and saplings have the essential nutrients needed for growth. Reducing stress, treatments reduce stress on seeds and saplings during the critical establishment phase, helping them adapt to new conditions. Enhancing root development, some treatments encourage root branching and growth, leading to stronger root systems that support healthy plants. Boosting vigor, overall, Treated seeds and saplings tend to exhibit increased vigor, making them more resilient and capable of withstanding environmental challenges. Direct seeding versus planting saplings. Direct seeding. Cost-effective. Direct seeding is generally more cost-effective because it eliminates the need to purchase and transplant saplings. Seed selection control. Farmers have greater control over seed selection, choosing varieties that suit their specific needs. Adaptability, direct seeding can be adapted to a wide range of crop types and field conditions. Convenience, it is a relatively simple and convenient method, especially for large-scale planting. Time efficiency, direct seeding can be quicker than planting saplings, since it skips the nursery stage. Planting saplings, plant vigor, saplings typically exhibit stronger initial growth and can provide an earlier harvest. Weed competition, planting saplings reduces early weed competition, as they often outcompete weeds. Spacing precision, planting saplings allows for precise spacing, which can be important for some crops. Survival rate, saplings often have a higher survival rate, especially when transplanting into challenging conditions. Benefits of Kuba products in seed and sapling treatment. Kuba products, including Kuba soil booster and Kuba growth promoter, offer several benefits in seed and sapling treatment. Enhanced germination, these products promote microbial activity in the soil, which aids in nutrient release and supports robust germination. Improved seedling vigor, Kuba products enhance root growth and nutrient uptake in seedlings, leading to healthier and more vigorous plants. Pest and disease resistance, they contribute to natural pest and disease control, reducing the need for synthetic pesticides. Nutrient availability, Cuba products ensure that essential nutrients are readily available to seeds and saplings, supporting their early growth and development. Overall plant health, when used in combination with seed and sapling treatments, Cuba products enhance plant health and resilience, leading to successful establishment in the field. Incorporating Cuba products into seed and sapling treatment practices can result in stronger, more resilient plants that are better equipped to thrive and produce higher yields in agricultural settings, whether through direct seeding or transplanting saplings. Root Development Cuba products, including Cuba Soil Conditioner, Cuba Soil Booster, Cuba Growth Promoter, and Natural Horticulture Oil, offer specific benefits for papaya root development. These benefits are primarily attributed to their unique ingredients, which enhance nutrient uptake, soil health, and pest resistance, ultimately leading to stronger and healthier papaya root systems. Cuba Soil Conditioner Primary Role Improves Soil Structure and Nutrient Availability Secondary Role 
enhances moisture regulation and natural pH balance. Benefit, Cuba Soil Conditioner contains a rich blend of essential nutrients, including phosphorus, potassium, calcium, magnesium, and trace elements. These nutrients support robust root development by providing the papaya plants with the vital elements they need for growth. Additionally, its nitrogen-fixing bacteria create a nutrient-rich environment, further enhancing nutrient uptake by the roots. The hygroscopic properties of Cuba soil conditioner regulate moisture, preventing water stress in papaya plants and supporting healthy root growth. Its natural pH balancing abilities ensure that the soil maintains an optimal pH level for nutrient absorption, benefiting papaya root development. Cuba Soil Booster Primary Role Enhances Microbial Activity and Nutrient Availability Secondary Role Provides Protection Against Pests and Diseases Benefit Cuba Soil Booster plays a pivotal role in improving papaya root development. By promoting microbial activity in the soil, it enhances nutrient cycling and nutrient availability to the papaya roots. This results in stronger and more extensive root systems, which are essential for nutrient uptake and overall plant health. Moreover, the secondary role of pest and disease protection ensures that the root system remains healthy and unharmed by soil-borne pathogens, supporting continuous root growth and development. Cuba Growth Promoter Primary role, stimulates root growth and nutrient absorption. Secondary role, enhances overall plant vigor and resilience. Benefit, Cuba Growth Promoter is designed to boost papaya root development by stimulating root growth and nutrient absorption. Its amino acids, seaweed extract, and essential minerals provide the necessary building blocks for root expansion. This leads to a well-established root system capable of efficiently absorbing water and nutrients from the soil. Additionally, the product's secondary role in enhancing plant vigor and resilience ensures that the root system remains healthy and continues to support papaya growth, even during adverse conditions. Natural Horticulture Oil Primary role Acts as a natural defense against pests and diseases. Secondary role aids in preventive care and soil health improvement. Benefit, natural horticulture oil protects the papaya root system from potential threats by acting as a natural defense against pests and diseases. Its components, such as azadiractin and citral, act as antifeedants and insect growth regulators, preventing damage to the root system. This primary role ensures that the roots remain intact and can continue to support papaya growth. The secondary role of aiding in preventive care and soil health improvement contributes to the overall well-being of the papaya plant, indirectly benefiting root development by creating a conducive environment for root growth. In summary, Cuba products offer specific benefits for papaya root development through their unique ingredients and primary and secondary roles. These products collectively support nutrient uptake, soil health, pest resistance, and overall root system vigor, leading to strong and healthy papaya root development. Stem growth Cuba soil conditioner Primary role, nutrient supplementation and soil health improvement. Secondary role, hygroscopic moisture regulation. Benefit, Cuba soil conditioner's primary role is to enrich the soil with essential nutrients, including phosphorus, potassium, calcium, magnesium, and trace elements. These nutrients play a vital role in stem growth by providing the plant with the necessary building blocks for cell division and expansion. Additionally, the soil conditioner's nitrogen-fixing bacteria enhance nutrient availability to the plant, further supporting stem development. The hygroscopic properties of Cuba soil conditioner help maintain optimal soil moisture levels, preventing water stress and ensuring that the stem remains supple and flexible. Cuba Soil Booster Primary Role Microbial Activity Enhancement and Nutrient Availability Secondary Role Natural Pest and Disease Control Benefit Cuba Soil Booster contributes to stem growth by promoting microbial activity in the soil. This microbial activity improves nutrient cycling and makes essential nutrients more accessible to the plant, leading to healthier stem development. 
The product's secondary role in natural pest and disease control protects the plant's stem from potential damage, ensuring that it remains strong and supple. The absence of pests and diseases allows the plant to allocate more resources to stem growth. Cuba Growth Promoter Primary role, stimulates stem growth and nutrient absorption. Secondary role, enhances overall plant vigor and resilience. Benefit, Cuba Growth Promoter directly stimulates stem growth by providing amino acids, seaweed extract, and essential minerals that support cell elongation and expansion. This results in stronger and more vigorous stems. The product also enhances overall plant vigor and resilience, ensuring that the stem can withstand environmental stresses and continue to grow optimally. Natural Horticulture Oil Primary role acts as a natural defense against stem-damaging pests and diseases. Secondary role preventive care and soil health improvement. Benefit Natural horticulture oil's primary role is to protect the plant's stem from potential threats by acting as a natural defense against pests and diseases. By preventing damage to the stem, it ensures that the plant's structural integrity remains intact. The secondary role of preventive care and soil health improvement indirectly benefits stem growth by creating a favorable environment for the plant's overall health and development. Why organic fertilizer leads to soft and supple stems? Organic fertilizers, such as Cuba products, enhance soil structure and nutrient availability, leading to better water retention and improved soil microbial activity. This creates a favorable environment for root development and nutrient uptake. As a result, plants fed with organic fertilizers often have softer and more supple stems. The increased moisture retention and nutrient availability support optimal cell expansion and turga pressure, resulting in healthier and more flexible stems. Why plant life is extended with organic fertilizer? Organic fertilizers improve soil health, promote beneficial microbial activity, and provide a sustained release of nutrients. This leads to enhanced nutrient uptake by plants over a more extended period. As a result, Plants have a more stable and consistent nutrient supply, which contributes to their overall health and longevity. The absence of harmful chemicals in organic fertilizers also reduces the risk of soil and plant toxicity, further supporting extended plant life. Comparison of stem characteristics in healthy plants In a healthy plant, the number of stems can vary depending on the species and growth habit. For example, a single-stemmed tree like a palm tree will have one main stem, while a bush or shrub may have multiple stems originating from the base. The size and length of stems are determined by factors such as genetics, environmental conditions, and nutrient availability. Healthy stems tend to be sturdy, flexible, and free from damage. Their size and length will be appropriate for the plant's growth stage and type. In summary, Cuba products support stem growth by enhancing nutrient availability, microbial activity, and overall plant health. Organic fertilizers contribute to soft and supple stems due to improved soil structure and consistent nutrient supply. They also extend plant life by creating a favorable and non-toxic environment for plant growth. Stem characteristics in healthy plants vary depending on species and environmental factors. Leaf Health Cuba Soil Conditioner Primary Role – Nutrient Supplementation and Soil Health Improvement Secondary Role – Moisture Regulation and pH Balance Benefit – Cuba Soil Conditioner enriches the soil with essential nutrients such as phosphorus, potassium, calcium, magnesium, and trace elements. These nutrients are vital for leaf health, as they support chlorophyll production, photosynthesis, and overall plant vigor. The product's nitrogen-fixing bacteria enhance nutrient availability to the papaya plant, ensuring that leaves receive the nutrients they need to thrive. Additionally, Cuba soil conditioner's hygroscopic properties regulate moisture, preventing water stress that can harm leaves. Its pH balancing abilities maintain an optimal pH level in the soil, further benefiting leaf health. Cuba Soil Booster Primary role, 
enhances microbial activity and nutrient availability. Secondary role, natural pest and disease control. Benefit, Cuba Soil Booster plays a key role in improving leaf health by promoting microbial activity in the soil. These microorganisms aid in breaking down organic matter, releasing nutrients that are essential for leaf growth and function. Improved nutrient availability supports the production of healthy, green leaves. The product's secondary role in natural pest and disease control protects the leaves from potential damage, ensuring they remain vibrant and free from harm. Cuba Growth Promoter Primary role, stimulates leaf growth and nutrient absorption. Secondary role, enhances overall plant vigor and resilience. Benefit, Cuba Growth Promoter directly stimulates leaf growth by providing amino acids, seaweed extract, and essential minerals that are crucial for cell development and chlorophyll synthesis. This leads to larger, healthier leaves with an increased capacity for photosynthesis. The product also enhances the overall vigor and resilience of the plant, ensuring that the leaves can withstand environmental stresses and continue to perform optimally. Natural Horticulture Oil Primary role, acts as a natural defense against leaf-damaging pests and diseases. Secondary role, preventive care and soil health improvement. Benefit, natural horticulture oil's primary role is to protect papaya leaves from potential threats, acting as a natural defense against pests and diseases that can damage or reduce leaf health. This protection ensures that the leaves can carry out their essential functions effectively. The secondary role of preventive care and soil health improvement indirectly benefits leaf health by creating a favorable environment for overall plant well-being. Number, size, and length of leaves in healthy papaya plants. The number, size, and length of leaves in healthy papaya plants can vary depending on the plant's age, variety, and environmental conditions. Papaya plants typically produce a rosette of leaves at the top of the stem. A mature and healthy papaya plant may have 20 to 30 leaves or more, depending on its growth stage. Size, papaya leaves are usually large, with individual leaves ranging from 20 to 70 centimeters, 8 to 28 inches, in length and 15 to 45 centimeters, 6 to 18 inches, in width. The size of leaves may vary based on factors such as genetics and nutrient availability. Length, the length of papaya leaves can vary within a healthy plant, with older leaves generally being longer than younger ones. Young leaves are typically at the center of the rosette, gradually increasing in length as they age. Healthy papaya leaves should appear vibrant green, free from discoloration, pests, or diseases. They play a crucial role in photosynthesis, providing energy for the plant's growth and fruit production. Cuba products, including Cuba Soil Conditioner, Cuba Soil Booster, Cuba Growth Promoter, and Natural Horticulture Oil, collectively contribute to leaf health in papaya plants. These products enhance nutrient availability, microbial activity, and overall plant health, leading to larger, healthier leaves capable of efficient photosynthesis. Flowering in papaya plants Cuba soil conditioner Primary role, nutrient supplementation and soil health improvement Secondary role, moisture regulation and pH balance Benefit for flowering initiation Cuba soil conditioner provides essential nutrients like phosphorus and potassium, which are crucial for flower bud development and initiation. Adequate nutrient availability ensures that papaya plants have the resources needed to initiate flowering. Benefit for flower enhancement, nutrient-rich soil supported by Cuba soil conditioner leads to healthier and more vibrant flowers. Improved nutrient levels contribute to larger and more attractive blooms, enhancing the overall appearance of papaya flowers. Benefit for reducing flower drop, by regulating soil moisture and ensuring optimal nutrient levels, Cuba soil conditioner indirectly helps reduce flower drop. Consistent moisture and nutrients support the flowers throughout their development, reducing the likelihood of premature flower drop. Cuba soil booster, primary role, enhances microbial activity and nutrient availability. Secondary role, natural pest and disease control. 
Benefit for flowering initiation, Cuba soil booster boosts microbial activity, which plays a role in nutrient cycling and availability. This supports the papaya plant's overall health, creating favorable conditions for flowering initiation. Benefit for flower enhancement, improved nutrient availability due to enhanced microbial activity contributes to healthier and more robust flowers. The secondary role in pest and disease control protects the flowers from potential damage, ensuring their longevity and quality. Benefit for reducing flower drop, natural pest and disease control provided by Cuba Soil Booster indirectly helps reduce flower drop by preventing damage to the flowers. Cuba Growth Promoter Primary role, stimulates plant growth, including flowering. Secondary role, enhances overall plant vigor and resilience. Benefit for flowering initiation, Cuba Growth Promoter contains amino acids and minerals that promote overall plant growth including flowering. These ingredients stimulate flower bud formation and development. Benefit for flower enhancement, the growth promoter supports the development of healthy and vibrant flowers. The amino acids and minerals contribute to larger and more colorful blooms, enhancing the visual appeal of papaya flowers. Benefit for reducing flower drop, enhanced overall plant vigor and resilience ensure that papaya flowers remain healthy and are less likely to drop prematurely due to environmental stress. Natural horticulture oil. Primary role, acts as a natural defense against pests and diseases. Secondary role, preventive care and soil health improvement. Benefit for flowering initiation. Natural horticulture oil's primary role in pest and disease defense indirectly supports flowering initiation by protecting the plant from potential stress caused by pests and diseases. Benefit for flower enhancement, by safeguarding the plant from harmful pests and diseases, the oil ensures that the flowers remain healthy and unharmed, resulting in improved flower quality. Benefit for reducing flower drop, preventive care provided by the oil helps maintain overall plant health, reducing the chances of flower drop due to disease or pest infestations. Number, size, and length of flowers in healthy papaya plants. The number of flowers in a healthy papaya plant can vary depending on factors such as the plant's age, variety, and environmental conditions. Generally, Papaya plants produce multiple flowers arranged in clusters, and each cluster can have several individual flowers. Size, papaya flowers are typically small to medium-sized, with individual blooms measuring around 3 to 5 cm, 1.2 to 2 inches, in diameter. Length, the length of papaya flowers can vary, but they are generally short-lived and may only last for a few days to a week before wilting. Healthy papaya flowers should appear vibrant, free from pest or disease damage, and have well-formed petals. They are essential for fruit production, as successful pollination of these flowers leads to the development of papaya fruits. Cuba products, including Cuba Soil Conditioner, Cuba Soil Booster, Cuba Growth Promoter, and Natural Horticulture Oil, contribute to papaya plant flowering by providing essential nutrients, promoting overall plant health, and protecting against pests and diseases. These products enhance flower quality and reduce premature flower drop, ultimately supporting papaya fruit production. Addressing malnutrition and enhancing papayan content for flavor, aroma, and taste. Cuba products can contribute significantly to addressing malnutrition, enhancing fruit production, and potentially increasing the papayan content in papaya, which provides flavor, aroma, and taste. Nutrient-rich soil, Cuba Soil Conditioner and Cuba Soil Booster enrich the soil with essential nutrients, including phosphorus, potassium, and trace elements. When papaya plants grow in nutrient-rich soil, the fruits they produce are more nutritious. Improved Nutrient Uptake, Cuba Growth Promoter enhances nutrient absorption by papaya plants. This results in fruits with higher nutrient content, which can help address malnutrition. Natural Pest Control Natural horticulture oil protects papaya plants from pests and diseases. Healthy plants are more likely to produce fruits, and the absence of chemical pesticides promotes food safety and nutritional quality. Enhancing Fruit Production 
Increased flowering. Cuba products promote flowering and reduce flower drop, ensuring a higher number of flowers that can potentially develop into fruits. Better pollination. Healthier papaya plants produced with Cuba products attract more pollinators, increasing the chances of successful pollination and fruit set. Fruit size and quality. The improved availability of nutrients and enhanced plant health result in larger, more appealing, and higher quality papaya fruits. Enhancing papayan content for flavor, aroma, and taste. Nutrient balance, proper nutrient balance, facilitated by Cuba products, ensures that papaya fruits develop their characteristic flavor, aroma, and sweetness. Amino acids. Cuba Growth Promoter contains amino acids that can contribute to the development of complex and pleasing flavors in papaya. Healthy plants, healthy papaya plants, supported by Cuba products, are better equipped to produce fruits with the desired taste and aroma. Papayan Enhancement, while Cuba products primarily focus on overall plant health and nutrient availability, these factors indirectly contribute to the production of higher quality papayan. A healthy papaya plant is more likely to produce papayan with the desired characteristics. Cuba products are essential in addressing malnutrition by enriching the soil and enhancing nutrient uptake. They also contribute to higher fruit production and indirectly aid in increasing the papayan content in papaya, leading to enhanced flavor, aroma, and taste. Overall, Cuba products support both the nutritional and sensory aspects of papaya fruit. Consistent size and weight. Cuba organic products contribute to consistent size and weight development in papaya through several mechanisms. Balanced nutrient supply, Cuba soil conditioner and growth promoter provide a balanced supply of essential nutrients, including macro and micronutrients, amino acids, and minerals. This balanced nutrition ensures that papaya plants have all the necessary elements for healthy growth and fruit development. Improved soil health, Cuba soil conditioner enhances soil health by increasing microbial activity and promoting nutrient availability. Healthy soil ecosystems support the efficient uptake of nutrients by papaya plants, leading to consistent growth. Enhanced root development, Cuba products, particularly Cuba growth promoter, support robust root development. Healthy and extensive root systems improve nutrient absorption and water uptake contributing to consistent fruit development. Natural plant growth regulators, Cuba growth promoter contains natural plant growth regulators, such as amino acids, that stimulate balanced vegetative and reproductive growth in papaya. This ensures that energy and nutrients are allocated appropriately for fruit development. Environmental resilience, Cuba products enhance the overall resilience of papaya plants, helping them withstand environmental stresses like drought or excessive rainfall. Consistent environmental conditions promote uniform fruit growth. Limitations of chemical fertilizers in achieving the same result. While chemical fertilizers can provide nutrients to plants, they have limitations in promoting consistent size and weight development in papaya. Nutrient imbalance. Chemical fertilizers may supply an excess of certain nutrients while lacking others, leading to nutrient imbalances that can affect fruit development and quality. Soil degradation. Continuous use of chemical fertilizers without proper soil management can lead to soil degradation, reducing the soil's ability to support consistent plant growth. Environmental impact. Chemical fertilizers can have adverse environmental effects, including nutrient runoff into water bodies, leading to pollution and ecological imbalances. Lack of microbial support, chemical fertilizers do not promote soil microbial activity to the extent that organic products like Cuba soil conditioner do. Microbes play a vital role in nutrient cycling and availability. Reduced resilience, plants relying solely on chemical fertilizers may have reduced resilience to environmental stresses, making them more vulnerable to fluctuations in weather conditions. In summary, Cuba organic products promote consistent size and weight development in papaya by providing balanced nutrition, enhancing soil health, supporting root development, and improving environmental resilience. 
These benefits are achieved while avoiding the limitations associated with chemical fertilizers, such as nutrient imbalances and environmental degradation. Sugar levels and plant growth. The relationship between plant sugar levels, measured as bricks, and various aspects of plant growth and health is essential in understanding the overall well-being of papaya plants. Here's a comprehensive explanation of how sugar levels impact different aspects of plant growth. Survival and thriving. Below 2 bricks, when plants produce sugar levels below 2 bricks, they may struggle to survive. Insufficient sugar restricts energy production and nutrient uptake. 2 to 6 bricks, sugar levels between 2 and 6 bricks activate plant metabolites, improving the plant's chances of thriving by providing essential energy for growth and development. 7 to 12 bricks, plants producing sugar between 7 and 12 bricks exhibit improved water retention capacity, resistance to various insects, and overall health. This range supports optimal growth and development. Water retention capacity. Sugar levels impact a plant's water retention capacity. Higher sugar content helps plants retain moisture, reducing their susceptibility to drought stress. Insect resistance. Aphids and sucking insects. Plants with sugar levels between 6 to 8 bricks are preferred by aphids. Sucking insects are attracted to plants with sugar levels between 7 to 9 bricks. Chewing insects. Chewing insects are more attracted to plants with sugar levels between 9 to 11 bricks, while grasshoppers prefer plants between 10 to 12 bricks. Higher sugar levels can deter some pests, but the overall resistance depends on various factors. Mineral balance and insect attraction. Plants with a balanced mineral profile emit different frequencies. Insects are attracted to plants with deficiencies that match their nutrient needs. Achieving balanced mineral levels can reduce insect attraction. Plant pest immunity. A brick's reading of 12 or higher is associated with reasonable plant pest immunity. High sugar content may deter pests and contribute to plant health. Cold, frost protection. Higher sugar levels provide protection against cold, frost damage. The increased sugar acts as a natural antifreeze, preventing freezing of plant tissues. Flowering stage. Bricks readings can remain high throughout the flowering stage when plants were well fed during vegetation. This helps ensure healthy flowering and fruit set. Nutrient ratios. Monitoring nutrient ratios is crucial to prevent a drop in bricks readings during flowering. Imbalanced nutrient levels can negatively affect sugar production. Consequences of lower sugar conditions. Lower sugar conditions lead to reduced protein production and enzyme activity. This affects the plant's overall life cycle, from growth to flowering and fruiting. Kuba products and sugar levels. Kuba products contribute to optimal sugar levels by improving soil health, nutrient availability, and overall plant vigor. Here's how they relate. Kuba soil conditioner enhances soil health and nutrient availability, supporting sugar production. Kuba Soil Booster, boosts microbial activity, aiding nutrient cycling and sugar production. Kuba Growth Promoter, promotes balanced growth, ensuring plants can reach and maintain optimal sugar levels. Natural Horticulture Oil, acts as a preventive measure against pests and diseases, reducing stress on plants and helping maintain sugar levels. In summary, sugar levels in papaya plants play a crucial role in their growth, resistance to pests, and overall health. Kuba products contribute to maintaining optimal sugar levels by improving soil health, nutrient uptake, and plant vigor, ultimately ensuring healthier and more productive papaya crops. Insects and Pests Papaya plants are vulnerable to various insects and pests, including aphids, tiny, sap-sucking insects that can cause leaf curling and transmit viruses, mealybugs, soft-bodied insects that feed on plant sap, weakening papaya plants, fruit flies, lay eggs in papaya fruits, leading to fruit damage and infestation, white flies, small, 
winged insects that feed on plant sap and can transmit plant diseases. Scale insects, immobile insects that attach to plant stems and leaves, sapping plant nutrients. Spider mites, microscopic pests that can cause stippling on leaves, reducing plant vigor. Leafhoppers, sap feeding insects that can transmit plant diseases. Cooper's Natural Horticulture Oil and Soil Booster for Insect Control Natural Horticulture Oil Cooper's Natural Horticulture Oil contains components like azadiractin, citral, linalool, and others, which act as antifeedants, repellents, and growth regulators for insects. It can deter and control various pests, including aphids, mealybugs, and whiteflies. Soil Booster Cuba Soil Booster enhances microbial activity in the soil, promoting a healthy soil ecosystem. This indirectly contributes to the natural control of soil-dwelling pests, such as nematodes and certain larvae. Cuba Soil Conditioner and Growth Promoter for Plant Health and Resistance to Insects Cuba Soil Conditioner enriches the soil with essential nutrients and beneficial microorganisms. It promotes overall plant health making papaya plants more resistant to insect attacks. Healthy plants can recover more effectively from damage, reducing susceptibility to pests. Cuba Growth Promoter, this product enhances plant vigor and resilience. Vigorous plants are better equipped to withstand and recover from insect infestations. It provides amino acids and minerals that stimulate plant growth and defense mechanisms. Companion plants with insect repelling properties for papaya. Marigold, Tagetes SPP, marigolds have a strong scent that repels aphids, whiteflies, and nematodes. Planting marigolds near papaya can deter these pests. Basil, Ocumum basilicum, basil emits a scent that can repel flies and mosquitoes, reducing insect presence around papaya. Nasturtium, Tropeolum modus, nasturtiums can repel aphids whiteflies, and squash bugs when planted alongside papaya. Mint, mentha SPP, mint's strong aroma deters aphids and ants, helping protect papaya plants from these pests. Chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum SPP, chrysanthemums contain natural insect repelling compounds and can deter various pests. Benefits and advantages of using Cuba products and companion plants for insect control, Organic and environmentally friendly, Cuba products and companion plants promote organic and environmentally friendly pest control practices, reducing reliance on chemical pesticides. Targeted pest control, Cuba products specifically target common papaya pests, reducing the need for broad-spectrum pesticides. Prevention of infestations, regular use of Cuba products and companion plants can help prevent pest infestations by promoting plant health and natural deterrence. Enhanced plant health, Cuba soil conditioner and growth promoter improve plant health, making papaya plants more robust and resistant to pests. Reduced chemical load, utilizing organic methods and companion plants reduces the need for chemical pesticides promoting safer and healthier gardening practices. By combining Cuba products and companion planting strategies, farmers can establish a holistic pest management system that not only protects papaya plants but also benefits the environment and overall crop health. Diseases Papaya plants are susceptible to various diseases, including Papaya ring spot virus PRSV, a viral disease that causes ring spots on leaves and fruit deformation. Powdery mildew, a fungal disease that appears as white, powdery growth on leaves, affecting photosynthesis. Black spot, a fungal disease that causes black lesions on leaves, leading to defoliation. Anthracnose, a fungal disease causing dark, sunken lesions on fruit and leaves. Phytophthora fruit rot, a water mold disease that causes fruit rot, particularly during wet conditions. Bacterial leaf spot, a bacterial disease that creates small, water-soaked spots on leaves, leading to leaf drop. Cuba products for disease control in papaya plants. Soil conditioner, Cuba soil conditioner enriches the soil with nutrients, enhancing plant health. 
healthy plants have better disease resistance due to their strengthened immune systems. Additionally, a balanced soil ecosystem can suppress certain soil-borne pathogens. Soil Booster By promoting beneficial microbial activity in the soil, Cuba Soil Booster indirectly contributes to disease prevention. A healthy soil microbiome can help suppress disease-causing organisms. Growth Promoter Cuba Growth Promoter contains amino acids and minerals that can stimulate plant growth and defense mechanisms. This contributes to overall plant health and improved disease resistance. Natural Horticulture Oil Cuba's natural horticulture oil contains components like azadiractin and citral, which have antimicrobial properties. This can inhibit the growth of disease causing pathogens on papaya plants. Disease Preventing Companion Plants for Papaya Marigold, Tagetes SPP, marigolds release compounds that can suppress nematodes and inhibit certain soil pathogens. Basil, Ocumum basilicum, basil emits volatile compounds that can deter aphids, which are vectors for viral diseases like PRSV. Chrysanthemum, Chrysanthemum SPP, chrysanthemums contain pyrethrum, a natural insecticide that can deter various pests and reduce disease transmission. Garlic, Allium sativum, garlic's natural compounds have antifungal and antibacterial properties. Mint, mentha SPP, mint's strong aroma can deter aphids and ants, helping prevent disease spread. Nasturtium, tropeolum modus, nasturtiums can deter aphids and other pests, reducing the risk of disease transmission. Benefits and advantages of using Cuba products and disease-preventing companion plants for disease control. Organic and environmentally friendly, Cuba products and companion plants promote organic and eco-friendly disease control practices, reducing the need for synthetic chemicals. Strengthened immune system, Cuba products enhance plant health and strengthen the plant's immune system, making it more resilient to diseases. Pathogen inhibition, Cuba's natural horticulture oil inhibits the growth of disease-causing pathogens, reducing the spread of diseases. Improved plant health, the use of Cuba products and companion plants results in healthier papaya plants, which are less susceptible to diseases. Disease prevention, preventing diseases is crucial for maintaining optimal plant growth and productivity. It reduces crop losses and the need for disease management measures. By combining Cuba products with disease-preventing companion plants, farmers can establish a comprehensive disease management strategy that promotes plant health, inhibits pathogens, and ensures sustainable papaya cultivation. This approach benefits both the environment and crop yields. Beneficial Companion and Border Plants Nitrogen-fixing companion plants play a vital role in enriching soil fertility and promoting biodiversity in papaya plantations. These plants are typically legumes that have a symbiotic relationship with nitrogen-fixing bacteria rhizobia, in their root nodules. Here's how they contribute to soil health and the benefits of incorporating them into papaya plantations. Benefits of Nitrogen-fixing companion plants Nitrogen fixation Nitrogen-fixing plants, such as legumes, for example, clover, beans, peas, have the ability to convert atmospheric nitrogen into a form that is accessible to plants. This enriches the soil with nitrogen, a crucial nutrient for papaya growth. Carbon fixation, through photosynthesis, nitrogen-fixing companion plants capture carbon dioxide from the air and fix it into organic matter, improving soil organic carbon content. This enhances soil structure and water holding capacity. Improved soil fertility, the addition of nitrogen-rich organic matter from nitrogen-fixing plants enhances overall soil fertility. This leads to increased nutrient availability for papaya plants. Reduced synthetic fertilizer dependency, incorporating nitrogen-fixing companion plants reduces the need for synthetic nitrogen fertilizers reducing production costs and environmental impact. Biodiversity promotion, companion plants attract beneficial insects and pollinators, increasing biodiversity in the papaya plantation. This can help control pests and improve overall ecosystem health. Reduced soil erosion, 
The dense root systems of nitrogen-fixing plants help bind soil particles together, reducing soil erosion and promoting soil conservation. Weed suppression. Companion plants can act as a natural ground cover, suppressing weed growth and reducing competition for resources with papaya plants. Exhaustive list of nitrogen-fixing companion plants for papaya. Clover, Trifolium SPP. Alfalfa, Medicargo sativa. Beans, Phacelus SPP. Peas, Pisum sativum. Vetch, Vicia SPP. Cowpea, Venia ungiculata. Lablabin, Lablab purpureus. Stylo, Stylosanthes SPP. Sunhemp, Crotillaria juncea. Sesbania, Sesbania SPP. Beneficial border plants for papaya farming. Marigolds, Tagetes SPP, repel nematodes and insects. Nasturtiums, Tropaeolum modus, repel aphids and whiteflies. Basil, Ocumum basilicum, deter aphids and other insects. Mint, Mentha SPP, repel ants and aphids. Chrysanthemums, Chrysanthemum SPP, contain pyrethrin, an insect repellent. Lavender, Lavendula SPP, deter various pests. Rosemary, Rosemarinus officinalis, repel aphids and beetles. Garlic, Allium sativum, and onions, Allium sepa, repel aphids and insects. Lemongrass, Kimbopogon citratus, repel mosquitoes and aphids. Dill, Anathem gravolens, attract beneficial insects. Chives, Allium sonoprasum, deter aphids and attract pollinators. Incorporating these nitrogen-fixing companion plants and beneficial border plants into papaya plantations not only improves soil fertility but also enhances biodiversity, reduces the need for synthetic fertilizers and pesticides, and promotes sustainable and environmentally friendly agriculture. Climatic tolerance in papaya plants by improving various aspects of plant health and soil quality. Here's how each product contributes to this. Cuba Soil Conditioner Improving soil structure, Cuba Soil Conditioner enhances soil structure by increasing organic matter content and microbial activity. Well-structured soil retains moisture and provides better root support, aiding papaya plants in coping with moisture stress and temperature fluctuations. Regulating moisture levels, its hygroscopic nature helps regulate soil moisture. It absorbs excess moisture during wet periods and releases it gradually during dry spells, ensuring consistent hydration for papaya plants. Strengthening defense mechanisms, by promoting nutrient availability and microbial activity, the conditioner strengthens the plant's natural defense mechanisms, making it more resilient to environmental stresses. Cuba Soil Booster Enhancing microbial activity, Cuba Soil Booster improves microbial activity in the soil. This microbial diversity supports nutrient cycling, disease suppression, and overall soil health, helping papaya plants adapt to varying climatic conditions. Better nutrient uptake, enhanced soil biology facilitates nutrient uptake by papaya plants, making them more efficient in utilizing available nutrients and better equipped to withstand stress. Cuba Growth Promoter Amino Acids and Nutrients This product contains essential amino acids and nutrients that promote balanced plant growth. Strong, healthy papaya plants are more capable of tolerating temperature fluctuations and environmental stress. Stress Resistance Amino acids in Cuba Growth Promoter activate stress response pathways in plants, enhancing their ability to withstand climatic stresses like high temperatures and moisture fluctuations. Cuba Natural Horticulture Oil Disease Prevention Cuba Natural Horticulture Oil acts as an organic preventive measure against diseases, including those exacerbated by high humidity and heat. By reducing disease pressure, it helps papaya plants cope with challenging climatic conditions. Enhanced plant health Healthy papaya plants are better equipped to handle stresses. The oil's properties promote plant health, making them more resilient to environmental factors. Efficient water use and cooling effects. 
Cuba products collectively support efficient water use by improving soil structure and root health. This allows papaya plants to access and use water more effectively, maintaining optimal hydration levels even during periods of moisture stress. The hygroscopic properties of Cuba soil conditioner also create a cooling effect in the surrounding environment. By absorbing moisture from the air, it helps regulate temperature, reducing the impact of high temperatures on plant growth and minimizing stress-induced damage. Cuba products enhance climatic tolerance in papaya plants by improving soil quality, nutrient uptake, microbial activity, and overall plant health. These benefits collectively enable papaya plants to withstand temperature fluctuations, moisture stress, and other environmental factors, ensuring healthier and more resilient crops. Using Cuba products for papaya plants offers a range of specific benefits that are crucial for cost-effective organic farming, soil conservation, and sustainable agricultural practices. Here's a comprehensive summary of the advantages these products provide. Soil health and fertility. Cuba soil conditioner, enriched with essential nutrients, humic acid, and beneficial microorganisms, it improves soil health, nutrient availability, and pH balance. This supports robust papaya growth. Cuba Soil Booster enhances microbial activity and root health, improving nutrient uptake and soil structure. It fortifies the soil with organic carbon, promoting long-term fertility. Cuba Growth Promoter contains seaweed extract, amino acids, and minerals to boost growth and resilience, especially during adverse conditions. It helps papaya plants thrive even in low sunlight periods. Natural horticulture oil acts as a protective shield against pests and diseases, reducing the need for chemical treatments. This preventive approach ensures soil health and minimizes harm to the environment. Pest and disease management. Natural horticulture oil, comprising organic oils with insecticidal, antifungal, and herbicidal properties, it safeguards papaya plants against pests and diseases. This helps maintain overall plant health. Water efficiency. Cuba soil conditioner, with its hygroscopic properties, it regulates moisture in the soil. This reduces water stress on papaya plants, making water use more efficient. Improved plant vigor. Cuba growth promoter, supports vigorous growth, flowering, and fruiting. It enhances the overall quality and yield of papaya produce. Natural frost, cold protection, higher sugar content, achieving bricks readings of 12 or higher, facilitated by Cuba products, acts as a natural antifreeze. This protects papaya plants from frost damage in cold climate conditions. Environmental benefits, organic and sustainable, Cuba products promote organic farming practices, reducing the reliance on synthetic chemicals and fertilizers. This leads to healthier soils, less environmental pollution, and sustainable agriculture for a better future. In conclusion, Cuba products, including Cuba Soil Conditioner, Cuba Soil Booster, Cuba Growth Promoter, and Natural Horticulture Oil, offer a holistic solution for papaya cultivation. They enhance soil health, provide pest and disease management, improve water efficiency, boost plant vigor, and contribute to sustainable and cost-effective organic farming. These products play a vital role in saving soil, conserving natural resources, and ensuring a greener and more sustainable agricultural future.